What's going on, Shady People? Shady Penguin here. Welcome back to the next episode of our Fire Emblem Three Houses Blue Lions playthrough. Today, we're here back on this really, honestly, just sad reunion. It's just a sad time because we've got so many archers here that can reach pretty much. You're going to attack Sylvain? Are you serious? You really want to do that? All right. All right. So we're going to let Sylvain stay still uh, so that he can start baiting people close uh, closer. And then we'll start moving other people forward, because we're going to have to. Uh, Dimitri will probably body this fool, or Dimitri's going to come over oh, here. Uh, Dimitri can't reach you. That's sad. Okay. Well, Dimitri will go here. And then... Uh, unfortunately, you, you, you still can't one-shot. So, oh, you can when you crit, though. You can when you crit. The dude grows to level 28. Beautiful. More stats for you. We got the Lampos shield. A shield that offers divine protection for steeds. Wow, that's cool. That's dope. Okay, we're gonna bring our flyers in and then we're gonna dismount them. Because there's too many archers around here that can just... I know that I, and I get my plus 15 avoidance either way, so I'm fine with doing this. Uh, dismount and wait. And that's gonna okay, and that can't go all the way through, so we're not gonna worry about that. For now, let's let we're gonna have to. It looks like we're gonna have to kill the alliance first because they're coming in. I really wanted to just go get Edelgard as soon as possible. In fact, I think that's what I'm gonna work towards. I'm gonna work towards getting Edelgard as soon as possible. That's what we're gonna do because I I think that's worth as much as I want to see Shady interact with every student. I don't think that's possible. So let's just go ahead and. Plan. Take out Hubert. Hubert. See, look at how evil. First of all, just look at how evil they are. They seem. Fighting on will endanger my life, Your Majesty. I must. Okay, so Hubert actually is going to live. Why did what's her? Why did what's her no, name have to die then? We still have some troops left. So long as I stand. Oh my evil. gosh, that's so silly. Why did Bernadette have to die? Okay, What's I'm gonna let strength? Shady start coming through, I think. Oh, there's a treasure chest down here. This is dangerous to let, Sh le let Shady leave, but I'm gonna do it, bro. I'm probably not gonna get this chest. Because I really, well, maybe. I really just wanna kill Edelgard before we take out Claude. If I'm honest, that's like my big goal. Okay, uh, we're gonna crit you, so it's not gonna matter. Okay, we're not gonna crit you, and that matters a ton. Uh, I'm gonna let Sylvain come through, as I should have before. And then I'm gonna go back to the other spot to keep baiting things. Oh, I can't. What do you, what? What's happening? What? That doesn't seem very fair to me. In fact, that seems very unfair to me. Let me go ahead and equip Nosferatu. And we'll rally. Just because. At your service. Uh, is there anyone that I can physic? Okay, Felix, you're gonna get physic. Sure. Uh, Flane, you're gonna come through. You really, yeah, Flane is who needed a movement ring. Your movement is so bad, I don't know why. Like, it's crazy. I guess I'll fortify and heal no one. Sweet! Good fortify. Okay. Dimitri's gonna dodge and destroy with this steel lance. You wanna do it again? No, but you still lock, you still just take that Pegasus out. Okay, let's see what these fools. Why are they doing this? So sad that our reunion should take place on the battlefield. Why, Claude? Oh my gosh, that's so much damage. We better dodge something. So close. My has oh my gosh! Okay, so obviously, I'm not afraid. I figured he would end like this. Obviously, I'm going to divine pulse, right? I'm really sad that I have to fight these guys. I re it really does tilt me. So maybe I can't let Shady go down where I want him to. It's totally possible that I'm not, I, I'm just not gonna be able to. My gosh, they have so many archers, it's insane. 
Ugh. I really want... Oh, boy. We're gonna have to watch Annette die as well. Yeah. Okay. Why can't I stand? Mm. I need to keep fighting. No, I'm sorry. Okay. And you run away. Pathetic. Okay. Yes, I understand. The fire. We're gonna have to go back pretty far. Honestly. Probably to when Shady moved. Okay, I think that I think the trick is going to be to just really all head towards the uh, the Empire. As much as I want to kill this guy, I think we just have to all run. What's my and I really do want to kill this guy. They're all gonna come after Shady. Seriously? All right, bro. We're gonna give Shady the ultimate test then. All right, we're gonna give him the ultimate test. It won't be in vain. Because like. The fact that Claude can reach so far is so detrimental. I'll cut through. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and run over here. What's Sylvain, you're gonna get over here as well. We're still gonna get attacked twice, so let's go ahead. Do I have Nosferatu? I don't. Okay. Let's equip this. You're getting attacked by, by people, people. So let's just equip our Lance of Ruin and hopefully we'll destroy some fools. Um, Mercedes can physic, right? Oh, there's no one to physic. Oh, interesting. I'm your girl. Uh, we're gonna bring a net this way as well. Onward. Plane, we're gonna bring this way. We can always mount and then peace out. So I'm not too worried about it. We're not dodging. We're getting hit by that, which is unfortunate. It's probably gonna have a negative effect. It does have some sort of negative effect. Uh, you're coming up for Dimitri. This big old beast, but it's okay. I really, really like, for my lore's sake, I really want to take Edelgard out first. I really do. I don't know if we're going to be able to, but I really would like to. Oh my gosh. Sylvain! It's really sucky. Okay. Let's just Divine Pulse again. This is getting dangerous now. I know we have 10 charges, but still. Okay, we need to go back to where Sylvain moves. So Sylvain is not going to be able to go that way. What's the point? If I dismount, can I move better? Can. Oh, goodness. Am I in the woods? I'm not in the woods there. So let's go right here. I'm still going to get attacked a ton. Where am I getting attacked at the not ton? Okay, cool. We'll go here. My goodness, Sylvain. You're supposed to be a beast. Let's rescue Annette so we can move her more. This is a good play. I'm your girl. Get her down here sooner than, than later. At your service. Mercedes will come over here and we'll wait as well. Okay, you're gonna attack Shady. This time I'm gonna dodge. Just kidding, by the way. Haha. <laughs> Just kidding, by the way. You're getting ready to, to spread attack, which is fun. Here we go. That dodge was nice, honestly. I appreciate that single dodge. Uh, this guy's just gonna come here on the center. Ooh! Claude now attacking an Imperial first. That's what I like to see. Ooh, Raphael seems dope. He's got all of his buttons buttoned too, I think. Nice. Really, really trying to get rid of that Imperial General. I appreciate it. You just don't have, don't, go, you don't have to go after us. We're not going after you, man. I'm telling you, there's got, there's, that's got to be an option. No, it's not an option. How do you not dodge? You waited and everything. Where's your alert stance? Okay, they're distracted. Uh, I don't think there's any way I can break this beast shield, so I'm not worried about it. What's my strategy? I really just want to go to Edelgard. I'm honest with you. I'll comply. This beast I know I can break. Pretty easily. So we'll go ahead and do this. Let's go for a wave attack. Because that's going to shatter that one and then break a bunch. Um, and then we could just use Annette. We can dance for her, but let's make sure we take out this 
this beast first. Uh, I need to send Felix down here, I think. Why is, why is an archer going to attack me? It's insane. Okay. I would really prefer if I didn't get hit by this thing. Oh, I just put Felix in the line of sight. That's awesome. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put you here to bait Edelgard. We'll keep your silver sword on. <sighs> Which one's weaker? We'll equip your iron sword. I really hope I, I mean, I want to see Dimitri interact with, with Edelgard, of course. So we're going to have to hopefully, ooh, it's so unnecessary. Let's just go to this. Oh, I mean, so, that's just such overkill. Sorry. That really truly is sorry fighting. as well. Okay, let's dance. So then Annette can go for Resonant Ice. We'll break all of these. Here we go! Ambit boost, 32 damage. Just misses taking you out, fortunately, but do break your armor. We got a number of steel from it, so that's worth. Plane, you really need a movement ring. I don't need to fortify right now. Mercedes can physic. Ooh, you will physic ash for sure. We're going to try to get Ash to be able to run away, but I'm not sure if he's going to be able to. We'll get Sylvain down here, and we'll just go for Sagittae, because why not? Of course we're going to crit. Of course we're going to crit. Uh, got rid of one of those health bars. That's nice. Um, Felix is going to get hit by that. Let's see if we mount. We fly out of harm's way. We can't fly completely out of harm's way, but we might as well be out of harm's way. I'd be so let's mount. And get all the way over here. Beautiful. Okay, that's a successful turn. I knew when next we met, one of our paths would have to come to an end. Oh my gosh. Your journey ends here, Professor. Forever. So then can I actually kill you? Or is that a lie? Wow! 35 damage on a 70% chance. Actually, Professor's in a little bit of danger right now. Professor is definitely in danger. Oh, come on, restoring 20 HP. That's it, Claude, take him out. Take him out, Claude. Let's go. Oh, come on! I know you had only a 46% chance to hit, but I wanted it to happen. That'll do it. Here we go, Raphael. We are gonna have to take out these other guys. There's no doubt about it, but I really would. I just need to take Edelgard out first, okay? That's my need. And I don't want to hear about it, okay? I don't want to hear about it. <sighs> I am sad that it's what it must be. And how come she's not setting it on fire for all of the Alliance? Huh? She set it on fire for me. All right, can Dimitri get down here? Okay. How far can Dorothea go? Dorothea can go there, so we can put Dimitri here. I can take care of all these other goons. I'm not worried about it. Let's go ahead and dance for Dimitri. Because this is an interaction I need to see. Are you kidding me? Shady, and you can't move, can you? Oh my gosh. Um, how far does rescue go? It's, but now these guys are coming through now. They're coming through. Fluff, dude. I think I'm screwed. I honestly think I'm screwed. We can. We should be able to heal Shady again, and he'll be able to survive, right? We have enough healers. Like, Isaac probably reaches. Who's gonna attack me? Ugh! Let's see if Physic reaches. Physic definitely. Oh, Physic reaches from where I was, though. So, if I'm safe here, brings it to 44. So it's not quite fully healed. But I'm definitely going to risk these biscuits. Uh, I'm going to let you come through. And take out this magician. Before this magician does anything. Ooh, rushing blow for to do. Uh, now we're going to let Petra come through. And probably completely destroy this. Yeah, you're going to completely destroy this man's career. You don't even need the crit. Don't even get the crit. You're going to get the crit. You always do, Petra. Uh, Ingrid grows level 36. This is nice. Sweet! Uh, 
Then I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to send you over here. Annette's going to come down here and finish you off. Just kidding, actually. Oh, my gosh. Jeez. Okay, this guy is, is pretty wild right now. I think I'm going to have to go with Felix. I'm just going to have to... 87% chance to crit. Yeah, that's insane. That's literally nuts. Literally nuts. Yes, I need to train harder. Yes, you do, bro. Very impressive. Uh, wow, and that's still uh, still thinking about you, bro. We'll recover instead of heal. Does anyone else have physic? Dorothea did. Right now, this beast is not attacking anyone specific, which is good. And it, you're getting. I'm not even gonna bait you. I'm just gonna send Sylvain down here. I'm gonna fortify. I don't think there's anyone that I'm gonna fortify. You say, yeah, I wouldn't fortify anyone. Let's rescue Ash. Get you closer. That way you can get down here. Wait. Uh, who else do we need to move? Oh, Shady. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just use a. Let me just see how much damage I do to you, Edelgard. I don't kill you, but you kill me. 48, bro. Uh, I am going to use a concoction. And then let's see what happens. You're going for another Raging Flames. That sucks. That sucks. Ooh, the beast is going over there. Nice, dude. You guys can have that beast. I don't care. I don't care. Like I said, my goal is to go ahead and take Edelgard out before anyone else. Fail not. What a great name for a bow. Or just a weapon in general, the fail not. I like the fact that it sounds like not, so it reminds me of a bow more than anything. Good name, good name. Okay. You guys, we don't have to do this. We really, it's just, it's just the Empire that's the problem, Alliance. Your name is literally Alliance. How, how why are we fighting? Don't like this. I think you guys actually got that beast completely worn down. Oh yeah, this beast is not living. I actually enjoy seeing a team, uh, enjoy a team, seeing a team actually completely take out a beast. Not that they have just yet, but still, they're just about to. They're breaking barriers. Ooh, there we go, that, that's a dead beast now. 138 on the crit. Dealing with all these soldiers is definitely gonna be problematic. Dimitri, can you reach yet? You can't. How far can Dorothea go? Dorothea can go all the way over here. So I can let Dimitri stand where Edelgard once stood. Whew. Whew. Poetic. And then we're going to dance for you. Oh my gosh, this is the moment I've been waiting for. This is the moment I've been waiting for. I will kill you every time. Every time. Here we go. Stab your chest. Neck, smash your head. I will allow you to choose your own death. I'm not interested in methods of dying. All that matters is when death takes place, not how. And I have no intention of dying today. I'm sure all of the people you've slaughtered so far thought the same. Oh snap, no crit from either of us. And she did not fall. Just as expected, you aren't making my path an easy one. Uh, come on! I mean, I don't want to feed into Dimitri's dark side, but for now. We'll meet again on the battlefield. How can you get the chance to retreat? That's nonsense. Okay, now we just have to worry about not dying. So here's what I'm gonna do. We are going to physic shady yet again. Much Cause he's all, he's all out here stunned and whatnot. I can't restore you. I'll fortify now cause at least it gets Ash. Now we just have to get our team all grouped up, basically. So I would say let's go here. I want to get Annette out of harm's way for now. 
And Sylvain will take a few hits, so let's go like this. I want to see if Petra will bait stuff. Are there archers? Oh, hold on. I think I just gargled. No, you're going after Felix. Okay. Felix is still in danger, for sure. Um, That's going to be it. I should have sent Ash down here to get this chest. Okay, let's see what happens. We'll probably have to. We'll probably have to divine pulse this. <laughs> so sad that our reunion should take place on the battlefield. Yeah, well, why don't we? Whoa! Can we dodge, crit. We can. The two fifty-two. My dreams and pride lost. Must I die on foreign soil? Oh man, poor Petra. All right, obviously There's I'm going no to. Me. You're better off turning tail and running away. Let's see how strong they actually are. Are they able to kill me? Oh my gosh, you're strong. I'll crit you. I won't crit you. Oh my gosh, I forgot Raphael's busted. My weapon? Damn it. Can't see anything. Wow. It's sad. But luckily it's not permanent. Because we have the divine post on our side. Okay, so everyone literally needs to get out of harm's way. Literally everyone. So I'll cut through. Just I'm just no girl. one no one staying no one staying in range. Because these guys these guys mean serious business. Uh, I am gonna send Ash. I am gonna start sending Ash down for this chest. Who's who's trying to attack Sylvain right now? Is. 34 times 2, 48% chance. I'll still get That's out of harm's point. way. Okay. This will be it. Let's go. Let's go. We have a whole we basically have a whole army to face because we didn't we didn't cut them down at all. And now Shady's no longer stunned. Or Fleen has not been able to do much at all. It's really unfortunate. But we literally have an entire army to, to face, and this is not good. But my lore is happy. So if my lore is happy, I am happy. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and I guess I'll go for a fortify first. There's nothing cool, very nice. Uh, we gotta start moving people in. Annette, what can you attack with? You can one-shot them, so we don't have to worry about this. You give something that's good against, is an Excalibur, 51, 90% chance, okay. So this should just kill you. But I do wanna see Shady interact with you. I thought we had a chance. There was no way to predict the movements of the Kingdom Army. Oh, this might end the battle, I just realized. Oh, snap. I can't afford to die here. I have to retreat. So we didn't have to kill those students. I'll take it, honestly. I'm not even sad. Wait, so we could have spared. Well, we could not have spared Bernadetta. And what's his And the other guy didn't even die. I'm fine with that. I'm good with it. So. You think you can we'll have to do some battles on, uh, to get experience now, but... Your Highness, you're alive. We have to retreat to the Great Bridge of Murden. That woman. We failed to capture her. I will keep pursuing. The rest of you, keep fighting. I'm so sorry, but we Wait, where was that girl? That. I understand how you feel, but the Imperial Army is closing in. I'll kill all of them. No matter how many hundreds or thousands of them there are. Yeah, where's this girl? <sighs> I was just thinking. You, she... What are you doing here? It's too dangerous. Fall back now. <laughs> Your Highness. Wait, did she actually? <laughs> You are. First of all, there should have been a sound effect when she like sliced her sword or something. But oh my gosh, there's no way she actually just got Dimitri, right? <laughs> oh, have I caught you off guard, Your Highness? Ah, does it hurt? I bet it hurts real bad, doesn't it? But it's nothing compared to what my brother felt. You will never be forgiven, you know. I will never forgive you. 
You... you must be... You filthy monster! It's time to die! Dimitri! Ah! Uh, professor! Do it now! No! He meant divine pulse! Brother, help me. Rodrigue! Wow. Your Highness, are you safe? Please tell me. It was. Oh my gosh, me. Felix is gonna be so screwed up. It was mine to bear. There are no sins or punishments on the battlefield. No, don't die. Please don't die. Father, stepmother, Glenn. They all died and left me behind. Roderick. Are you to join the ghosts who shadow my every move? This is my fault. I... I'm the one who killed you. As surely as though I had wielded the blade. <laughs> Your Highness, you have one thing terribly wrong. None of them, none of us, died for you. I'm dying for what I believe in, just as they did. Your life is your own. It belongs to no other, living or dead. Live for what you believe in. Dimitri, my boy, you really do look just like his majesty. Oh. <laughs> what are you saying, Lambert? I am heading to Dusker. My gosh. And before you start, Nothing you could say would change my mind. You worry too much, my friend. So far, relations with Dusker have been going smoothly, wouldn't you say? You, of all people, should appreciate how critical these negotiations are. Of course I do, but for the king himself to make the journey, you must admit that it's dangerous. And his highness is still so young. If the worst should happen... Even if the worst should happen, he would be okay. He's a smart boy, Roderick. Even if he should lose his father, I have no doubt that he will grow to be a good and respectable man. Lambert. However, if he ever starts down the wrong path, and I am not here to set him straight, this is the promise he made. I am trusting you to do so in my stead, old friend. Promise me. Lambert. My promise. I I, don't even, I can't even use that image for the thumbnail. I can't even use that image for the thumbnail because it just gives it all away. Use the previous one with the crazier guy, crazier, want? crazy guy out there, girl. Where are you going? It doesn't concern you. It does. Why doesn't- why doesn't he just Divine Pulse? That's no. such a hole in the story, in my opinion. You're going to Enbar, aren't you? Do you really think that will appease the dead? Silence! You have no idea what you're talking about. Death is the end. No matter how much lingering regret a person has, after death, they are powerless. They cannot even wish for revenge, much less seek it out. Hatred, regret, those burdens fall on the shoulders of those who are left behind. And so I must continue down this path. I already told you as much. It is far too late to stop. Wrong. There must be another way. Probably there must be another way. Do not waste your breath with some nonsense about how I should move on with my life for their sake. That is merely the logic of the living. It's meaningless. Those who died with lingering regret, they will not loose their hold on me so easily. But you seem to have all the answers. So tell me, Professor. Please tell me. How do I silence their desperate pleas? How do I... 
How do I save them? Ever since that day nine years ago, I have lived only to avenge the fallen. Even my time at the Officer's Academy was all so that I could secure my revenge and clear away the regret of the dead. It was the only thing that kept me alive. My only reason to keep moving forward. You must forgive yourself. <laughs> but then who or what should I live for? Wow. What I believe in. <laughs> Rodrigue said the same thing. But is it possible? I am a murderous monster. My hands are stained red. Could one such as I truly hope for such a life? As the sole survivor of that day, do I... Do I have the right to live for myself? It's so tough, man. I don't blame Dimitri. are so warm have they always been no wasn't i cold in the beginning of this game i didn't even have a heartbeat oh man i'm so this is so much this is so heavy uh, this is not what you guys want this is what you want i don't care what you want. i do care what you often oh Harpstring Moon. The King's Triumphant Return. The King's Triumphant I'm gonna cry winter. like a little baby if I if I allowed myself, there would be water ever, all over my controller. Following the death of Rodri, Dimitri <sighs> begins to question his desire for revenge. His troubled mind turns to the kingdom capital and how he might end the chaos plaguing Fargus once and for all. <sighs> Just marry Edelgard, three head. Why is she even doing what she's doing? Because she doesn't like the church? Is that her whole thing that the church... Yeah, I think that is. The church made the land churchy. So we got to kill everyone. I know that's, that's... I know that's... It's not really... It's a pretty, pretty bad summary. Ah, okay. Focus. Let's focus. We got exploring to do soon. Our victory at Drondor was certainly a turning point for us. However, Rodrigue's death has been difficult to bear. We've lost considerable military strength and resources. Are there no lords we can rely on? Unfortunately, what about Felix? with things as they are now, I don't think House Gatia has any resources to spare. I'm sorry. I really wish we could help. If only House Galatea had anything to give. If we split up the soldiers currently defending the monastery, we should have sufficient numbers to invade the Empire. But even then... Your Highness, you should be resting. Your wounds are still healing. I am well, I assure you. More importantly, may I have a moment of your time? Ooh, his voice is a little softer. Thank you. I wish to apologize to all of you. I have led you down this dark path with me and have caused so much suffering along the way. I cannot tell you how sorry I am for my behavior. There is no apology I could offer that would be sufficient. <laughs> and how do you intend to make up for my father's death? Felix, I realize words alone are not enough to repent, but... I fear they are all I have. I'm not after more empty words. I want you to speak through your actions. I know that no amount of regret can ever bring back the lives we have lost. I... I know that well. It is like patching up a tear with a different material. Things can never be as they were. The best I can hope for is to make things whole again. I wish to do the right thing from now on. That is why I have made a decision. I intend to take back the kingdom capital. I wish to save our people. Those who I turned my back on for far too long. 
to follow my heart and do the right thing. That is the only way I can atone for my sins. Your Highness. <clears throat> if we can win back Ferdiad, it will give us the advantage in our war against the Empire. As one who has served the royal family for ages, know that your words bring me great joy and pride. That said, I must point out that if we make for Ferdiad, the Emperor's head will slip further out of reach. Can you live with that? I still hold hatred in my heart for her, and for the ones responsible for the tragedy. That I will carry with me until death. But my life is my own. It belongs to no one else, and it is high time that I started living for what I believe in. I will no longer allow the voices of the dead to bind me. This is something that I must do. No. Something that I am choosing to do. I will accomplish my aim, even if it means risking my life to do so. Understood, Your Now get a haircut, Dimitri! So, any objections? None. Count me in. You are correct. We cannot afford to die in vain by recklessly challenging the Empire. I'm worried about Lady Rhea. But if this is the choice you've made, I support it. Yeah, Rhea is just I MIA, bro. Sleeping somewhere, probably. Follow you anywhere. My sword is at your service, Your Highness. You don't use a sword. I'll help you. <laughs> the people in Ferdiad need us. <laughs> you should have. You should have been a knight for sure, but I'm the worst. In my father's stead. But wow, in return, you must win. You know that, don't you, Dimitri? I do. And I swear on my father's lance that we will prevail. Then it is decided. Ah. Uh, it seems this war. Thank the Lord, Light Tree's back! Our next stop is Ferdiad, the kingdom capital. I'm so glad Light Mitri's here. Ah, uh, it sucks that it cost Felix his father, but Felix didn't really like his dad though. <laughs> He really didn't like his dad that much. He didn't. It's a terrible thing to say, but he really didn't. Ah, okay. Okay. Here we go. First and foremost, I think there's going to be a very important support between Felix and Dimitri. Oh, he's got a ton. Oh, we're in support haven. Holy. Let's just start from the top, bro. Your Highness. You still have scars on your back. It does you no good to languish in pain. I will procure some medicine. No, it is fine. Well, they are still deep. These are from nine years ago. They do not hurt any longer. Besides, it would be a shame if the scars I got from protecting you were to fade. I bear these scars proudly. It makes me think that it was worthwhile that someone like me survived. To hear you say such things. To do, you say that I saved you. But do you know that you also saved me that day? If I had been unable to save anyone, I would have been the sole survivor. I would have had no reason to keep living. You did just say that you were I the sole survivor someone, before. Saved you. That and that alone has always been my crutch. When I stood before those soldiers and their swords that day, I was prepared to die. But then, you suddenly appeared. And you shielded me. I knew then that a savior's hand could reach into even the deepest darkness. I still have not been able to repay that debt. Have you not heard a word I've said? You have saved me in countless ways. Five years ago, I did nothing but await my execution within my jail cell. Was it not you that saved me? That was nothing more than my duty as your vassal. Listen, to do. Perhaps you consider me to be someone special, but I think the same of you. You are irreplaceable, cherished. So stop saying that we cannot be friends. Stop saying such awful things. Please, do not look at me that way. You promised me you would build a kingdom that is proud to boast of Dusker blood. In this kingdom, where there is no distinction between the people of Dusker and the people of Fodlin, will I finally, without reservation, be able to call you my friend. Will I? Dimitri? To do. Yes, you will call me your friend again and again. 
No matter how many hardships I must endure, I will do all I can to bring about that world as well. To be your friend is what I have always wanted. Aww. Is that so? I... I am glad to hear it. But until that time, we must allow no harm to befall you. So please call upon me when you walk alone at night. And even when you go out in the day, please tell me where you are going and whom you are meeting. In the end, I suppose there is no fixing your overprotectiveness, is there? It's like... I suppose I can live with Who that. was it? It's like, uh, Satith and Blaine. Dimitri's playing daddy. It's cute. Let's go with Felix. I feel like this is an important one. I have a question for you. Answer quickly before my hand slips and I cut you in half. Oh my gosh. so ominous. Well, what is it, Felix? Sometimes you have an animal's face, contorted with anger and bloodlust. At other times, a man's with a friendly smile. Which is your true face? Do not waste your breath on questions with such obvious answers. They are both the real me. My father, my friends, Glenn. They all meant a great deal to me. And they were all brutally slaughtered. I alone survived. Tougher to do. I do not shoulder the anguish and regret they must have felt. Who will? <laughs> so that's how you justify your atrocities. What do you mean? I will fulfill my duty to the late king. My old man used to say that over and over like a mantra. How oh, nauseating. No one seems to understand. The dead won't acknowledge your loyalty. They don't care. What a load of bunk it is, pretending to serve a corpse. You're serving your own ego. You are wrong. No, I'm not. The dead are dead. The living are living. You have to respect that boundary. If you keep stringing gravestones around your neck, you'll snap. Even still, I cannot forget them, nor can I let them go. Then keep those thoughts to yourself. If you're too weak to do that, abandon your throne. Become a gravekeeper. Oh my gosh. I'm not immune to emotion, you know. Far from it. I haven't gone a day without questioning why my father and brother had to die while I survived. I'll bear this pain until the day I die, but I refuse to wallow in it. I have more important things to do than blubber for my whole life. Yeah, you tell him, Felix. <laughs> you know, Felix, you really are growing more and more like your brother. Always so sarcastic and constantly looking for a fight. But deep inside, more than anyone, you... What are you getting at? Oh. It's nothing, but allow me to thank you. Your perspective has opened my eyes. Have one eye. <laughs> Sorry. 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 I stand the pathetic look on your face. <laughs> That's all. I see. If you say so, then we will leave it at that. I mean, Dimitri definitely has a really good point. Like Dimitri, obviously. I mean, Felix has a very good point. Felix is bearing a ton of pain from his brother's death and everything. Oh snap. Um, and I think, I think he's right that you, you can't string gravestones around your neck or you'll snap. Time at the training ground, Mercedes. Easier said than done. As far done. as swordsmanship goes, you're like a whole new person. Thank you. I have such a great time when you teach me that improving comes naturally. It's all because of your own hard work. Compared to you, I... You shouldn't be so disappointed in yourself. You're improving too. You just need to keep at it. Well, I can hold a needle and thread without breaking anything now. That's... something. <laughs> That's a big step. When we started, you couldn't even hold a pair of scissors without twisting <laughs> them apart. True. I'm sorry for being such a burden. You're no bother at all. I like sewing with you. It reminds me of when I was young and my mother taught me how to sew. My mother would sit with my brother and me, and we'd all sew together. Aww. I really miss it. Even though I was barely better than you when I started. Did your mother like to sew, Dimitri? My birth mother? From my father's accounts, she wasn't great at it either. 
No way. That woman that caused the whole tragedy is not even his real mother. Yes. I don't really remember what she was like. But I remember my stepmother. Always sitting by the door sewing away. I'm sure she would have been happy to I just missed the line that was probably important. She always looked so lonely when she was sewing. So unreachable. She was kind to me, yes. But when she was like that, it was hard to talk to her. I'm not certain she would have wished to teach me. I'm so sorry, Dimitri. I didn't mean to bring up such difficult memories. Don't worry about it. If I don't talk about those things sometimes, I'll risk forgetting them altogether. And that would truly be a shame. I see. <laughs> yes. But now I'm just going on and on about myself. Why don't you tell me more about you? More about me? Oh, goodness. I don't even know what to say. It's hard to think of something on the spot, isn't it? You could speak of your family, I suppose. You want to know more about my family? On that topic, I'm happy to oblige. In fact, I'm so glad you asked. It's important to think about your past and share it every now and then. This might take a while, but would you be willing to stay and listen? Of course. I will listen for as long as you wish. Whoa, Dimitri! All right, Dimitri, you come back to light Dimitri all of a sudden, and now you're just swooning, ladies. Okay, wow, you literally have conversation with just about everyone. So let's get it. Your Highness, I have one more sad about. music. Is this about Gustav again? I have plenty more stories about him, but perhaps it is time for you to speak with him yourself. Oh, it's not about Father this time. This time, I wanted to ask about you. About me? I mean, I heard all about father last time, but I didn't ask about you. Uh. Ah, well, I'm afraid there is not much of interest for me to tell you. Oh, it doesn't have to be funny or interesting. That's not why I'm asking. It's just that I thought I already knew you, but I'm not sure I really do. That day when we were reunited at the monastery, I didn't know what to say to you. So I wanted to prepare some of your favorite food. I thought maybe if you ate something that you liked, you'd cheer up a little. But when I got to the kitchen, I realized I didn't even know what you like to eat. I see. Well, it's a little hard to say what my favorite is. I just don't really have any strong feelings about food. That said, you're pretty keen on sweet things, right, Annette? <laughs> yes, that's right. I'm at my happiest when I'm digging into a sweet treat. Oh, did you know there's a famous sweet shop in the capital? Yes. It often had long lines outside, didn't it? The castle guards often spoke of it. The sweets were so good. They cost a fortune, but I loved them. When father was still around, we all lived as a family in the capital. Oh. Since then, I've had them only a few times. Huh, how I'd love to taste them again. Say, Annette, when this war is over, where will you go? I heard that you were close to Baron Dominic back in the Academy days. That's right. But that's not where I think I'd like to go when all of this is over. I reconnected with Father, so I'd like to live with my family again, in the capital. Also, if I'm in the capital, I'll be able to see you from time to time. Right? Ah, that settles it then. We'll have to get your father working twice as hard. <laughs> <laughs> Father's at a ripe old age now. I'd appreciate it if you didn't work him too hard. Oh, of course. I will keep that in mind. It was just a joke, Annette. Come on. <laughs> was that their A tier? No, they have one more, actually. A plus. Ingrid. Your Highness, I've come to apologize. I mismanaged my feelings and got carried There we go. Away. I like this sad song better. I've been thinking about what might have made you say the things you did. I was so caught up in the moment and in my own feelings that I didn't think of what yours might be. No, I should be the one to apologize. I did not intend to say such things. I lashed out like a child. You were right to rebuke me. I am disgusted by my own inability to express myself. Will you allow me to explain? Of course. At the tragedy of Dusker, I saw countless corpses. Of course, I saw his, too. Glenn's. 
Ingrid, I doubt you would have been able to see him. They were unable to bring his body back after all. He must have died an agonizing death full of pain and regret. That is what I saw in his face. In that wasteland, there were no beautiful, proud deaths that could have been written about in heroic tales. Not one. I do not want you to die a death like that. Not even for the sake of loyalty or duty. A king must at times order his soldiers and knights to fight and die on his behalf. Their lives must be used for the greater good. This is something any good king understands innately. Any king who doesn't allow people to die on his behalf is too soft to rule well. You leave wow. a little room for argument. Have I disappointed you? No. I chose to serve you because of how you are. As your knight, I will stand by your side and uphold your soft-hearted ideals. <laughs> what has changed, Ingrid? You were so obstinate the other day. I've realized that I haven't been facing a very important truth. Because of you, I can finally move on. Thank you. Hmm. Hmm. I love the roads in the background. It's so good. Um, okay, I think... Oh, no. We still have some more supports, baby. More Dimitri. Why are you out and about so late, Dimitri? This is the Dimitri show at this point. Uh, hello, Flame. I could ask you the same thing. Me? I was feeling restless and came here to think. I see. I'm here for the same reason. <laughs> How funny. But... Are you feeling well? You look fairly pale. It's nothing. I just have a bit of a headache. Oh my. Headaches are quite troublesome, are they not? I am sure it will subside soon. Actually, I am quite talented when it comes to healing magic. If you will allow me, I will have you feeling better in no time. That's kind of you, but I'm fine. But... Wow. Why not? Have I offended you somehow? This headache is something I've dealt with for a while now. Ever since my family and friends were murdered before my eyes, I must never forget that day. I must never allow their deaths to be forgotten. I feel this headache is a reminder of sorts. Of those I failed to protect. And of their murderers who still roam free. I see. That would explain your somber demeanor. Still, I do not agree with all you are saying. I feel that if I were your father or any of your dear friends whom you lost, I would want you to let go of me eventually. I would never want someone whom I care deeply for to be pained by the loss of me for eternity. And I doubt they would want that either. Perhaps. Unfortunately, they have left this world, so I can no longer ask their preference. We cannot ask them directly, but we can imagine how they might have felt. You know who they were as people. As for me, if I am ever to be but a memory in your future, I want you to remember me in a way that brings you joy. I would want there you, you to go, smile Flame. when Preach. you called me. To Get that soapbox out. The notion that I cherished your company. I cannot imagine I am the only one who feels this way. Surely anyone who loved another would wish only for their peace and happiness. I must apologize. I was out of line, clearly. I must get some rest now. Please do not stay up too late yourself. Good night, Flane. And thank you. I think that should have taken place prior because that was a support level B. So it's kind of a little late in the game, but it is what it is. Gilbert! Gustav. It has been eight years since I last called you by that name. Your Highness, I must deeply apologize for leaving the kingdom without permission. I was... There is no need to explain, old friend. I can guess at your reasons. The tragedy of Dusker. You felt responsible for that incident and sought respite in the Goddess, abandoning your name, rank, and homeland in repentance. Am I right? Mm. I have no excuses to offer. This... It was all I could think to do. I always knew you for a pious man. And I figured that if you were to leave, this is where you would end up. You have changed much. 
Your face does not have the same resolve it once did. If I may, your highness, <clears throat> you have changed as well. Oh, snap. I can't disagree. It was my duty to protect his majesty, your father. Naturally, that also included Lady Patricia and yourself as well. My father and mother are gone. No amount of regret will bring them back. My dreams are haunted by the thought that had I arrived at Dusker more swiftly. You saved my life at Dusker. I have only gratitude for you, no blame to speak of. I wish for you to remain in the kingdom, Gustav, even after this conflict is over. I need your strength to help rebuild the ravaged land that Fargus has become. Please, I beg your forgiveness, but there is no place left for me in that land. I see. Though much has changed, your stubbornness remains. <laughs> I have no desire to trouble you. If you do not wish to return, that is your choice to make. But I do advise you to at least visit the place of your birth. If only for your family's sake. Yes, your highness. Thank you. I appreciate Whoa, your consent. boy! Do stop! Thanks think of Beauty and the Beast. It's a Gaston. Gustave Gaston. Uh, really quick, so we're done with that. Let's go ahead and replenish all of these. Something I would like to do, uh, and I'll do it during the next instructing, but I would like to get my authority up on, on character so I can give them some better battalions because we have some really spicy ones waiting for us to be used. And uh, unfortunately, we cannot use them. Are you on your sword? Oh, you're on your sword master right now. Yeah, because, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand. You've already mastered it, but it's your best thing. It's your best thing. Uh, Celine, you're still rocking out with your Dark Knight. Uh, Dorothea, we're going to keep you bullying and vibing as Dancer, I think. I wouldn't mind making you a Gremory, but you're not passing it yet anyway, so it's irrelevant. Uh, Petra's already mastered. Flane's already... Flane's level 39, bro. That's insanity. Our, our strongest unit is Flame. How often do you see that? I'd really like to know. Um, I think everything else is pretty good for us right now. Didn't someone learn a new ability? I thought someone had, had something that I was interested in. No. I think we had already done that. We got sword crit on Felix, but I thought there was something else. But maybe not. Yeah, I guess not. No, it's okay. Everyone's fine. Hey, this is this is fine. Seal magic is interesting. Seal magic is definitely interesting. I'm gonna get rid of Lord. Like, there's no reason to have that. What does renewal do? Okay, renewal is definitely gonna be something I equip you with. Now that you really can survive a hit. Oh, I remember what I wanted to do though. I wanted to go ahead and give you a um a movement ring instead of experience gem. I love Experience Gem, I get it, but like, her movement is just so bad. Uh, I only have one March Ring? Oh no. Don't tell me that. Our Dancer having it is probably more important. Dang it! Do I have any- okay, hold on, hold on. Do I have any items that maybe I can eat? Defense, Dexterity, Magic, Strength, Charm, Resistance, Defense, Luck. Ugh, okay. You don't have any March rings. Oh, well. So we're gonna go ahead and save our exploring for the next episode. In fact, I'll launch in. I'll come into this exploring. And then we're gonna wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And thank you so much for supporting this series. I will see you again tomorrow for the next episode of Fire Emblem Three Houses. Have yourselves a fantastic day. But above all else, keep it shady.